Hi guys, I'm Dave. This is Beer Virtually. Today we have a beer. Most of the beers I talk about are special, but today we have a beer that's, uh, it's not crazy special, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, Boulevard Bourbon Barrel Quad. This is a barrel-aged quad, which is a Belgian-style strong dark ale, I believe. So, I've been letting this sit out here for the last couple of minutes before I started this uh, video. And I think that if this one's in the low 50s, we're going to get better flavor out of it, being a little warmer than, than normal, maybe. Just a little bit ahead. E easy to pour. Right away, you notice it's got a great color. It's like a... Not like a brown, it's not like an amber, it's somewhere in the middle. Oh, you, oh, he smells boozy. Right right out of the, the initial scent out of the bottle. The bottle's pretty cool too, it's got kind of a vintage looking label, long slender neck. I'm a fan of Boulevards. Everything I've had so far has been good. Let's see where we're at in the Thermopen. We are at 49 degrees. If this warms up just a hair, that, that would probably be good. Okay, let me get some notes here on uh, on this. This is 11.2%, uh, so it's definitely a little boozy. A little, little, I don't know if that's from being in the bourbon barrels or what, but 11.2% is a little bit high. First sip. Man, that's good. It doesn't taste like an 11.2%. It tastes maybe like an 8% beer. It starts out smooth. It gets a little crazy in the middle, and then it smooths out nice at the end. It's almost a hint of... Um, so this beer is... Uh, they add cherries to it at the end. Um, 26 on the IBU scale. I probably would have guessed mid-30s. I think it's a hair more better than 26, but... So this Abbey Style Quad is divided into bar bourbon barrels and aged for varying amounts of time, some up to three years. And then to make up for the angel share, which is the part that's lost, in the barrel aging process to soaking into the barrels or evaporating. They add cherries toward the end of the aging process. Um, and then they take different barrels and blend them together to get probably more of an even taste. You know, they want to have enough cherry flavor, enough, enough wood flavor. And you definitely get some of that woody vanilla flavor from, from this beer. a little caramely. It also has what any any barrel aged beers I think that are good almost get a certain syrupiness to them. And this has just a hint of that. It's just right. There's almost an initial hint of like of applesauce. It's a, it's a little spicy almost like you get applesauce with cinnamon on it. You notice I'm, uh, I have a shirt and tie on. Just came back from a little holiday party. So this is a uh, post-holiday um, special edition of beer virtually. This is good. It's a little bit heavy. It smells so good. It smells a little bit boozy, but the all the other flavors that you smell. There's a certain sweetness, almost like a, almost like a honey, like a hint of honey. Almost no, pretty much no lacing to speak of, and the head is completely gone. So, I picked up this beer because I'm a fan of Boulevard's uh, The Calling. I think I gave it a, a rank of four and a half on Untapped. Um, 
I to me the calling is a great beer. It's very reminiscent to me of a slightly more mild heady topper, which I've been fortunate enough to taste um, from I believe the Alchemist. Um, and this is like a little brother to the calling. Although the calling is uh, an IPA, so. The IBU count on the calling is, uh, this is 26. I believe that's 75. It, that doesn't drink like a 75 either. Um, this drinks a little more bitter. That drinks a little sweeter. And that's only 8.5%. This is 11.2. That tastes a little more, that tastes a little higher than 8.5%. Um, but... If, if you're considering this beer, I would try the calling first. They're about the same price, um, which isn't cheap, but it's uh, $15.99 a four pack for this. So it's definitely in the more expensive, um, but Boulevard's really quality stuff. Everything I've had from them has been really good. This is another beer. It's hard to drink more than one of. It's heavy. 11.2 percent um yeah w one is usually good and i'm drinking this at the end of the night it's kind of perfect this is the last thing last alcoholic um drink I i'll have may have a cup of coffee later maybe some just some water but this kind of rounds out the night it's, it's heavy enough that i'm not gonna want any snacks or anything and this is like this, this is a filling beer And it hasn't changed much. It's definitely gotten a little warmer, but the flavor hasn't really come out like I expected. The flavor on this uh, last maybe fifth of the beer, it's up to 55 degrees. And I wouldn't want it any warmer than this. So we started out, I believe, 49 or 55. I would say this beer probably drinks great at about 52, 53 degrees. This is one, so I, I haven't, I, lately I've been liking beers slightly on the warmer side, so I haven't used any refrigerated glasses. This is one that, since it takes a little longer to drink, a refrigerated glass might help kind of red, keep it at that temperature for longer. It might be something to play with. So I would give this beer, I'll go three and three quarters out of five. Um... I don't know, I'm not sure if I've vlogged this one yet, but I'm pretty sure that's what I, if I haven't, I'm guessing that that's what I would have judged it at. Um, I give it a three and three quarters out of five. You know, when a brewer takes this much time to brew beer, uh, to age it and all that stuff, you really got to kind of hand it to them. It becomes really a craft at that point. You know, it's more than just mixing stuff and following a recipe. This takes a lot of objective or subjective um, tasting of different barrels and see what will mix well together. So you got to hand it to them. Excuse me. Even though it's... Yeah, I find myself savoring the last sip or so here. Real consistent throughout, even different temperatures. You know, as we, we saw maybe a five six, temper, five, six degree temperature swing, it de definitely uh, stays stable. I wouldn't want to drink this too cold. I think you're going to stifle some of the flavors. Uh, yeah, this has been good. Like I said, I'd give it a three and a half. But if you're, if you're considering this, definitely, I would check out the calling first from Boulevard if you can find it. Um, it's also in that same price range. But until next time, cheers.